Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP Hacks, hack number five, different tables. My name's Jeff and I'm glad that you're here. Let's just jump right in. Our goal is to calculate total tax. To calculate total tax, there are a few pieces of information that we need. The first of which is taxable income. So we just type it into cell D7. We also need the rates. So we go to the IRS, we grab the tax table, and we store it in a table named single, okay? Now let's grab the marginal rate from this table. Let's use a VLOOKUP function. We're gonna go find the taxable income in the table that is named single. We're gonna return the rate from the second column and true, we're doing a range lookup. And we explored range lookups in a previous video. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and let's see if it worked. 50,000, 25%, 25%, looks good. But here's the thing. We know that there are different tax tables depending on the filing status. Married filing jointly, head of household, married filing separately. So instead of having to change our formula to retrieve a value from a different table, like instead of having to modify our formula, we'd rather just type in the table name into a cell. So let's go ahead and see if this will work. We're going to delete this table name and instead simply point it to cell D6. This should work, right? I don't know, let's find out. Enter, Da. No, of course it didn't work, it's not that easy. Um, so apparently, Excel will not allow us to store the table name in a cell. Or will it? Yes, of course it will. That brings us to this hack, okay? We just need to get an assist from the indirect function. The indirect function will convert a text string, like the text string single that's stored in D6, and it will convert that text string into a valid Excel reference, like a valid table name. So we hit enter, and yes, we got it. 50,025%, 50,025%. We should be able to type in a different table name, and yes, the rate updates. Head of household. Okay, that's the same, and eh, married filing separately, okay, and single. So I think we got it, okay, I think we got it. Let's just go ahead and finish these calculations. We now need to grab the marginal income. What's the marginal income? It's this taxable income minus the beginning point of the bracket. And in a previous post, we talked about how to do that with a VLOOKUP. We're gonna go find the taxable income in our table single, or better yet, we'll use indirect of this table name, return the value from the first column, and true for, exa uh, true for range lookup. And we hit enter. And this should return 37,950, 37,950 looks good. Now all we need to do is take our taxable income minus that beginning point and hit enter. And now we got 12050, perfect. The marginal tax is equal to this rate um, times this income. And now we just need to grab the plus. So we'll do that with another VLOOKUP, range lookup. Go find our taxable income in indirect of this, so in the single table. Return the value from the one, two, three, third column. And yes, we're doing a range lookup. Enter. Okay, 522625, 522625 looks good. Our total tax is going to be equal to this marginal amount plus that. And I think we got it. And now uh, we can just change which uh, filing status it is. Married filing jointly, head of household, married filing separate, or single. Okay, And that's the hack. The hack is to use the indirect function to convert the table name stored or typed into a cell into a valid Excel uh, reference. But we could clean this up, right? For example, we could give this a little drop down to select the table name, and we could combine all of this stuff into a single formula. So if you're interested in checking that out, let's go to the next tab, which is called single. Now to create this single total tax um, formula, all I basically did was copy and pasted, right? So here's the, the marginal income calculation times the marginal rate plus um, plus the plus column value. Okay, so you can just copy and paste those and create one big sort of mega formula with a bunch of VLOOKUPs. It's beautiful, right? 
um, if you wanted to clean that up, that's fine. Um, marginal rate's pretty easy. We're just going to do a lookup to grab that. And the effective rate is pretty uh, straightforward. Total tax divided by taxable income. And now let's create that little drop down so that the user can just pick from a drop down instead of having to memorize the table names. So to do that, we're just going to go into data and data validation. We're going to allow a list. And we're just going to give this a list of our table names, single, separated by commas. MFJ, HH, and MFS. Click OK. And now we get the drop down so it's easy to change uh, which tax table. All right. So using the indirect function, that is how we are able to use VLOOKUP to retrieve values from different tables. Um, hope it helps. And uh, thanks and have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.